Dear Ukrainians, good health to you. I held a Supreme Commander-in-Chief's staff meeting on June 30th, a long and very detailed one, devoted to several issues. The commanders reported both on the general defense situation and the specific directions of our defense and our offensive actions. During the day we also have made progress in all directions of our active actions. We considered the supply of rounds for artillery for the east, for the south at the staff meeting. And although our work with partners to receive rounds for Ukrainian soldiers is already at our best capacity, we will make it even more active. Strengthening our artillery is an obvious priority, and all foreign affairs specialists received additional tasks. The situation in the north, in particular on the territory of Belarus, was considered separately. Our intelligence reported defense intelligence, foreign intelligence, border guards intelligence. The security service of Ukraine chief reported, we very carefully analyze every fact and any prospects in all directions. But the decision of the staff commander-in-chief Zaluzhny and General Naev were instructed to strengthen the northern direction to guarantee peace. Appropriate deadlines are set. I thank Denmark and personally Prime Minister Matt Friedrichsen for the new defense package for Ukraine. Artillery rounds, air defense missiles, the mining equipment. Thank you. I also held several meaningful preparatory meetings on June 30th regarding the internal context in our state, relevant internal measures and international measures, an extremely important period of foreign policy is beginning. The work in order to expand peace through expanding our security capabilities, our alliances and cooperation. The following weeks will be extremely active and the positions of our state are clearly defined. All our officials know what to do. And one more, June 30th is the first anniversary of the liberation of Snake Island from the Russian invaders. It is one of our major victories. Remember, last year in the spring, no one expected from Ukraine that we would be able to implement in particular this fundamental defense task to provide security to Snake Island and therefore to a significant part of the Black Sea water area. But our soldiers did it. Russian terrorists needed Snake Island to destroy the entire south of our country, our beautiful Odessa and other cities. Our soldiers stopped them and drove them out of Snake Island. Ukraine and Ukrainians are much stronger than anyone thinks about us, sometimes stronger than we are used to thinking about ourselves. Thanks to all that our people managed to do in the confrontation with Russian terrorists, we are revealing to the whole world and to ourselves a new Ukrainian strength, a real Ukrainian strength, the strength that we will never lose and that will always be a pillar of the security of the free world. I am grateful to everyone who freed Snake Island, Defense Intelligence, together with other elements of the Defense and Security Forces of our country, conducted this operation. Defense Intelligence and the Alpha Special Unit of the Security Service of Ukraine, the Naval Forces and the Army Aviation of the Ground Forces Command, the Air Force Aviation and our strong border guards. Thank you. And we will always remember our heroes, our soldiers, who gave their lives for the sake of Ukrainian victory. Among those whose names can now be mentioned, defense intelligence fighters, Ruslan Popov, hero of Ukraine, captain of the first rank, Oleg Zaitsev, hero of Ukraine, general lieutenant, Vitaly Natenko, hero of Ukraine, soldier, fighters of the Alpha Special Unit of the Security Service of Ukraine, Volodymyr Kiselov, hero of Ukraine, captain, Oleksandr Krikunenko, hero of Ukraine, mayor, Soldiers of the Navy, Ihor Bedzai, hero of Ukraine colonel, as well as Mikhail Zaremba, mayor, Serhii Mushitsky, captain, Yuri Peroch, staff sergeant, eternal memory, eternal memory and glory to all those who gave their lives so that our beautiful Ukraine would live. Glory to Ukraine!